I was just playing a G chord there, followed by an E minor, and a C, and a D. They sound great together. Um, and we're going to have a look at ways you can combine them, strum them, and use them to play really nice sounding chord progressions. So, I won't recap the chords, but if you're on the Sound Hut Music YouTube channel, you will find videos there um, individually looking at each of the chords. So, if we've got our G major, let's strum it with four down strums. So strumming is just the process of strumming or moving through the strings as simultaneously as you can, so raking down them or up them with your thumb or a finger or a plectrum and kind of getting a rhythmic effect from that strum. So we're going to do four strums on the G and then change to the E minor. And that's our first little strumming practice. So G for four. G if you can, an E minor, okay so the rule for the strumming hand nice and simple, four strums on each chord, it's good because for G and E minor we can strum six strings on both of them. You might have found I was going far too fast there so if that's the case scale back the strumming and just do some transitions between G and E minor. Notice how my first finger stays in the same fret. Okay, that's step one, G to E minor. Let's try it together, nice and slow. One, two, play, now. And G to E minor. Okay, it might be um, pushing the boundaries you're playing at the minute to execute that cleanly and that's absolutely cool but do get good at that because that's the start of lots and lots of fantastic tunes that you might want to learn and those chords work beautifully together so maybe pause the video there we'll go back to the beginning and try that again yeah okay now if you're brave enough to carry on we're going to do our four strums of E minor to E minor then C stop. Okay, so four on G, four on E minor, four on C. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, a little tip, when you go from E minor to C, the second finger, this one, is already on the right fret and string. So you can kind of pivot the first and third finger around it. Let's do that again. Four on G, four on E minor, four on C. Here we go. One, two, three, strong. G, E minor, now C. Let's go back to G. And again, once more. One, two, strum, G minor to C back to G okay now again that might be the limit of your chord changing capability at the moment if you're finding it just too tricky to get between them isolate the changes G to E minor back to G maybe and then G to E minor and then E minor to C. Do a few repetitions of that. Maybe peer over the edge of the guitar fretboard and have a little look at what's going on. Okay, the next change we're gonna add in is C to D. Now this video is a few minutes long. In reality, the process of getting comfortable with these changes might be a few weeks, a couple of months work. Depends how much time you've got to practice. Remember, little and often practice sessions are really going to help you make the best possible progress, yeah? 20 minutes a day is better than two hours once a week. Okay, let's just try C. And then D. Okay, and again, a C. A D. Okay, the ultimate aim of the video is to do four strums on E minor, sorry, four strums on G, four strums on E minor, 
four strums on C, and four strums on D. And imagine that's all in the repeat mark and it could go round and round. So we might get four strums on each. Here we go. One, two, strum, now. And G to E minor. strum of G to finish. Okay, if that is just too easy for you, then we'll talk about a tiny detail you could add in with the strum in hand. Rather than just four downs, we're going to put an up at the end. We're going to split that last beat in two, so we get one, two, three, four, and. So down, 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 up. Okay? Down, 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 up. Yeah, let's hear what that sounds like just on the G. I went to the E minor there. Uh, G sounds like that. You practice that on all the chords individually. Maybe recapping, changing them between them, the individual changes. G to E minor, E minor to C, C to D, D back to G. Once you feel comfortable with that strumming pattern, Maybe you practice it on open strings. Doesn't sound great. Just to give your fingers a rest. Then see if you can play the whole progression with that strum. And once we've done that, we'll give you a well-earned break or opportunity to go off and practice on your own. Here we go. G, E minor, C, D, each with down, 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 down. Here goes. Get your G ready. Plan ahead. The next chord is E minor after the G. Here we go. One. Two, strum, now, and G, E minor, C, D, should we try it again, G, E minor, C, I was going to talk at length about all the different songs that use that progression, but that's a video for another day. Um, enjoy those chords, get to know them individually and collectively. You don't have to play all four, you could just transition between two or three of them, that sounds great too. Get that four down strum and then four down strums with an up at the end into your playing. Enjoy!